Coucou tout le monde et bienvenue devant l'épisode 3 de Life is Strange Before the Storm. On se retrouve à l'école avec derrière, je sais pas si vous voyez, mais les gens ils sont en carton là-bas. C'est assez choquant. <rire> Donc du coup on était à l'école et il faut qu'on ait récupéré le DVD de Steph. Alors, c'est le message que... Je suis sur une des tables de pique-nique avec Mickey. Une table de pique-nique c'est là-bas, de mémoire. On verra plus tard. Bonjour. Hey Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did though. Huh? Ah. Right. Whatever. Tout le monde va en parler de ce I truc, je crois. Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. That ass. Yeah, you know how I roll. <laughs> So, I went to the mill last night, cut firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait. Elle est pote avec le mec de la sécurité, c'est cool ça. It was cool. C'est pas pratique aussi. Pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? W would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Bah ouais, vas-y. Yeah, okay. Great. Je vais manger les droits d'auteur sur YouTube encore. What did you think? Ah, my gentil. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Voilà, on se fait popote awesome encore boy, avec le, le mec de la sécurité. Ça, je peux faire plein de conneries. Eh ouais, les vrais strats. Bonjour, madame. Miss Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Mais oui. Yeah, I'm fine. Mais je prends une hmm. porte. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. <laughs> Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Mm -hmm. Je sais pas ce que c'est STEM. J'ai pas fait gaffe. Euh... Je. Bof. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for. I don't know. More lasers. <laughs> More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. Bon. Ah, oh, je peux courir. Cool. Je peux aller par là ou pas? No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. On s'en fout. Oh là là. Qu'est-ce que c'est? I prefer to wake and bake. N'hésitez hey, pas le repas le plus important de la journée, ne cédez pas face au stress d'examen, faites-vous plaisir. Oh. But fire so pretty. <rire> Je 
Qu'est-ce que c'est What the fuck is that supposed to mean Dites-nous à la drogue, gagner dopé, c'est pas gagner, c'est le meilleur moyen de finir dernier. D'accord. <rire> Je vais me faire griller. Non Non, ça a l'air d'aller. Students at Blackwell have this hard instinct to glom up into little groups like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Les complexes de l'adolescence. Nah, fuck that. C'est bon, j'ai fini. Bon, mais j'ai l'air d'avoir fini. Hop. Bon, on va pas recommencer. Qu'est-ce qui est écrit Oh mon dieu, j'ai vu un pénis dessiné. C'est terrible. <rire> ne marchez pas sur la scène. Da, 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 da. Je peux marcher sur la scène, je vais m'asseoir sur la scène. C'est bien aussi. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. C'est pareil, c'est encore une Did last night really happen. The internet. Oui, bon, au bout d'un moment. Principal Wells. Hey. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? Je me suis cogné dans une porte. Tout va bien. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. Je vais bien. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. Me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Ah, 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 uh. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Do I look amused to you? I don't know. I've only seen you with one expression. <laughs> That's the one. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. <laughs> I'll look forward to seeing you in my office Oops. after school today. How does that sound? Ah, euh, est-ce que je fais ma rebelle rebelle? <laughs> On va s'amuser. Moi j'aime bien ce truc. I have to convince him it's in his best interest. Mais, vraiment, ils ont vraiment bien travaillé Actually, son sir, personnage en fait. Go no. J'aime bien. Ah. So you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Oh, I get it. Because your name is Wells, right? You go around all day just hoping for an <laughs> opportunity to make well references? This must be a big moment for you. <laughs> Il va me tellement me défoncer. <laughs> In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. 
Sorry, Wellesley, but you've fallen right into my trap. I've been recording this entire conversation from my blog about human rights abuses at Blackwell. You have a blog. Hold on. What abuses have you endured? You know, I've had to talk to you for like two minutes. Oh là là. That's a long time. Elle est tellement respectueuse, c'est horrible. We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. I wonder if the Prescotts might reconsider their donation if Blackwell's principal is being sued for Mais harassment. Mais faites parler avec la prof avant. How do you know about the Prescott donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public <laughs> an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Mon Dieu. Funny, just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. <laughs> bon, bah, tant mieux. C'est quoi ça? On peut pas regarder? Est-ce que j'ai d'autres trucs à voir? Les fleurs, d'accord? Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three Oh, Victoria, salut! I love flowers. Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Et si tu lui parles dans le but de la faire pleurer? Est-ce que ça te tente un peu plus? Oh, Carrie Price! Quoi? It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously <gasps> since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal. Oh no, 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 mais fais la pleurer, s'il te plaît. Est-ce qu'il y a moyen de faire pleurer? But that, what with Rachel Amber, am I right? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook! I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. Oh, no. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Elle est jalouse. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. What up? That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me. Of course. That last problem was hard, Je right? Faire pleurer. If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. <laughs> no problem. Oh, la la. Ça lui apprendra, tiens. Oh, elle s'appelle comme moi. Samantha Myers, School Wallflower. She could give you a Je peux même montrer mes parents. Bonjour. Hey Chloe. Oh, hey, Samantha. Mignonne. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think it would work. <laughs> Normally I don't but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bit sometimes, so it's cool. Dans people always say jeu. that. Ça me dit but rien. I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. 
I don't know what I'm actually talking about. Bah dis donc, t'es bien timide, toi. I bet. Je peux lui reparler I really didn't mean anything. Oh là 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 là. Bon, c'est pas grave. Alors, j'imagine que... Comment ça s'appelle Steph, elle est là-bas. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Bonjour, Mikey Evan. somewhere. Oh, t'as un gâteau. Donne-le-moi. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Ouais, faut lui demander. Bon, je vais pas dire que le feu c'est bien. Attends, je vais le brûler le cœur. One last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? <laughs> sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, non, en fait, interested in complicated issues, helping sieste, out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. <laughs> How seriously am I taking this right now? There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy. Ah, si, Home of tomorrow's leaders. Ah, il y en a qui ont mis des... Des faux noms, je suis la seule à avoir mis un vrai nom. Il va m'attirer des ennuis alors du coup. On verra bien. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. Alors du coup... Est-ce qu'on peut aller là ou pas No, Chloe. Non. Class is back the other way. Après, j'ai pas vraiment d'intérêt à aller là-bas, mais euh, je suis un peu curieuse. On va voir ça. Bonjour. Faites un jeu de rôle. Oh, ça c'est cool ça. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Yes. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. <laughs> That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Well, awesome. Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. <laughs> Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? On peut vraiment jouer? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself <laughs> as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. 
alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Oh, c'est moi ça? Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named, uh, Calamastia. <laughs> Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, I mean, you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Alamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that elf barbarian. I did. <laughs> Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur. <laughs> Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Ah. Where do you wish to go? Where is Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron. Je sais pas si ça va être très long ou pas, mais moi j'aime bien. Je trouve ça vraiment rigolo qu'on puisse faire ça dans le jeu. C'est vachement cool. Only a small elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. <laughs> ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Oh, je peux faire ça aussi. On va essayer. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? <laughs> I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. En vrai, elle s'éclate là. Au début, elle était pas chaud du tout pour jouer, mais au final, elle s'éclate. You little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't. I cast communication. On the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. <laughs> so this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use. Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? The chrono, là. I wiggle my hand. Hey. Dragonkin guy, want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my <laughs> arm up your ass into your head, gueulasse. and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem like that idea. <laughs> Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. You're short, I say, but you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. <laughs> the dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. <laughs> what's that? I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. 
Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body <laughs> out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, <laughs> wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of yeah. urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Je then regrette pas. it dies of fear. Awesome. Je pensais que ça allait être yeah. long et chiant, en Go fait. Non, Chloé m'éclate tellement. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? On peut tout faire, bah allons-y. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training Butin. ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc oh. who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field. Je sais pas si intimidation ça marchera. Weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's acid blast. Um, overkill? Damn. <laughs> you conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Hmm. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. So much of this. your great no? axe downward with both hands. The orc oh, twinks, cool. then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. <laughs> it's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Bah merci, hein. Je vais te casser la gueule. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Cool. Thanks, dude. <laughs> What's next? Bah, on va se battre. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron. Warlord of the Raiders of the Black Well, Hi, sitting stylé. comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. Voilà, his contre, laughter bellows. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. <rire> I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. Je qu'il a que des sorts hyper méga puissants qui peuvent être hyper méga dangereux. Non, c'est bon. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire based, except for, you know, acid blast, which someone used unnecessarily <rire> to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? J'aime bien ce nom là. Oh, holy shit. <rire> voilà. Violation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clanging oh, no. jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Tout ça, c'est de sa faute à lui, là. Et voilà, 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 voilà. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. My feet? Elamon <laughs> moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stop! 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 This is all my fault! Sort of. What should I do? 
<laughs> I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Let's go for a battle. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you Oops. on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. No, hey, I should be I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20! Fuck yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. Et voilà, I cast tu le feu. Dignomi's fire strike of flame! Oh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon! Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. Topi. I Aww. actually feel sad right now. Aww. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. C'est cool. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, ouais, moi j'ai bien aimé. J'espère qu'on pourra refaire. Thanks for the game. Nerds. Ça rigolo. DVD check. Next stop. Allez, on va en cours. Chemistry class. Joy. Et peut-être va être plus long que les autres, je pense, mais c'est pas grave. Hein. What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Just <laughs> Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. Ouais. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? C'est pas gentil, ça. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. Oh. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Oh. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. Bon, allez. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to bien ce, ce mode là. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Je défends le petit Nathan. Leave now. You're actually ah, standing up for point. Nathan Prescott? Look at yourself, then oh, look bah, at him. That's hardly fair, don't you think? En même temps, j'ai pas forcément très envie de le défendre. Hein. Je vais pas me faire taper moi. <rire> All talk, no game, hein, Chloe? Who 
Booyah! <laughs> that took me months to put together! Quit the team, Twitch. For your own good. Shit. Next time, mind your own business. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Un message de maman. Trop mignon. Bah, je pense qu'on va s'arrêter là et que la prochaine fois on ira vraiment en cours parce que la partie de bah, la partie de RP a pris beaucoup de temps. Mais c'était vachement sympa. Donc la prochaine fois on ira en cours de chimie. En cours de chimie la prochaine fois. Attends, mais t'as l'air tellement inexpressif, c'est terrible, regarde-moi ça. Je n'ai pas d'expression sur mon visage. La vie est tellement nulle. Oh là là, souris un petit peu, moi. C'est terrible. If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. Du coup, on ira en cours la prochaine fois, j'espère qu'elle sera pas en retard. Il y a toujours la prof là-bas, donc techniquement c'est bon, hein. J'espère que l'épisode vous a plu, si c'est le cas n'oubliez pas comme d'habitude le petit pouce en l'air et le petit commentaire, moi je vous fais de gros 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 bisous et je vous dis à la prochaine, bye